Today's prospect profile, I'm, I'm wearing Leafs gear because why not? They eventually get a draft pick, right? And what better way to maybe continue the build that, that Kyle Dubas has been trying to do here by picking up a defenseman? Samuel Johansson. And if you're not familiar with the name, you know what? That wouldn't be all that unheard of. He's number 31 on the hockey prospect list. So they're saying he should be in the first round. He should be one of the last first round draft picks, maybe early second round. He's 33rd on central scouting amongst European skaters. So this is a guy who hockey prospect is the one. They are the one service that's saying, we think this guy's going to be a really good player. And they have him as a B-rated prospect, meaning, yeah, he should make the NHL and he should be good. So I thought of all the prospects I haven't discussed yet, I thought, you know what? Johannesson might be interesting because, you know, Swedish defenseman, and we'll see where he goes. He's 5'11", 176 pounds. His strengths, acceleration, teamwork, speed, puck handling. Offensive defenseman, and very good as well. And the overall numbers would seem to indicate, yeah, this guy's been flying under the radar. And hockey prospects saying, hey, get him on your radar because he's pretty good. Uh, last year, playing in the Junior 20 Super Elite, uh, 41 games, 3 goals, 13 assists, 16 points, and then playing in the SHL against men, 7 games, no points. This year, playing in the Junior 20 Super Elite, 19 games, 8 goals, 10 assists, 18 points, and then against men in the SHL, 44 games, 1 goal, 10 assists. So he's played 44 games this year against men, and he's played well. And by all accounts, this this kid looks like he's he's good to go and, and might be further along in his development, potentially, than some of the other defensemen in this draft class. But, again, because he's not considered a you know top 5, top 10 prospect, there are going to be parts of his game that need to be worked on. He had limited minutes in the SHL and yet played very well. And he played with what was seen as veteran poise. Uh, so that's that's important and it's a key thing to look at. He plays very smart under pressure. So if somebody's coming in on him, he's got the puck behind his own net or in front of his own net. He doesn't panic. He makes the right decision. His first pass is very good. He's a good puck rushing defenseman. He does need to work on the high risk plays though. He may be that guy that when he's got the puck in the other team's zone, maybe he cheats when he shouldn't. The puck gets turned over and before you know it, you got a two on one the other way. So that's the kind of thing that he does have to work on that might cause him to be ranked lower than guys like Drysdale and, and Schneider and others in this draft. But maybe he ends up being one of those guys that we look back and say, hockey prospect had it right. They are the outlier on this one. Um, he, he, he runs a power play very well. So again, teams looking for offensive defensemen that can run a power play. Johannesson may be that guy. Uh, solid, fast skater. His skating is good. Not necessarily, again, we're not in that top tier with guys like Byfield and Lafreniere when it comes to skating. But he's a very good skater. It's not going to cost him at the NHL level. He does need to improve on the defensive side. So again, the offensive side is there. The hands are there. He's got a decent shot. He keeps teams honest with his shot from the point. <clears throat> Being a Swedish defenseman, I thought, you know, I kind of want to wear Toronto or Vancouver and say this could be the kind of guy that Toronto or Vancouver, when they finally get that draft pick, he could still be there, and he could be a guy that a team has on their list that they say, we're really hoping he's a later steal in this draft. So again, the and it is odd that Hockey Prospect has him that high and nobody else does, that he's not on any of the other lists, not on Bob McKenzie's list. And so we'll see where he ends up going. If he ends up going, I would think it's going to be day two when you get rounds two through seven. But is it round three? Is it round two? Where does he go? Um, quotes reminded us a lot of Adam Boquist, and this is from Hockey Prospect, where they look at him and they're saying he is right about where Adam Boquist was at his age. So they're really sold on him. Good player, skilled, and he isn't big, but he isn't tiny either. So his NHL size, it's not going to be a problem. He's not a big defenseman, but he's not a tiny defenseman. And I don't see him mentioned on any lists. So this is one of those guys that's kind of out there. We may look back years from, years down the road and say, how was he available in the third round? How how did he fall to that level? What a steal. We're already looking at some guys from last year's draft and saying well, that was a steal later on. Nick Robertson for these Leafs is one of those guys who's being seen as a steal later on. So maybe, just maybe, we end up seeing this guy as a steal later on. Again, I'm going with Toronto because, sure, 
Why not? I haven't worn a Toronto one yet. I know I haven't worn Vancouver either. But they don't have their own first round pick or their own second round pick. So that limits my ability to be able to wear a Canucks jersey for any of these videos. And so with Toronto, I know they don't have their own first. I believe they have their own second or a second round pick. We'll see. Uh, we'll see where he falls. So let me know what you guys think. If you've seen Johannes in play, what do you think of his play? Uh, is he going to be an NHL level defenseman or does he need work on parts of his game to fix before we can really have that discussion? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through you just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.